Oh, it's President Ian. Hi, Hi Mr. Ian. Hi. He's a president for Kaba. Thank you for in for accepting our invite for the Kavog, the presidential interview. No problem. How are so you happy. today? I'm good. How are you? Sounds good. I'm good too. So cool. for the first question, why did you join Kaba? For sure. Um, shout out to Mr. Uh, president from last year, Calvin Cruz. He invited me to join Kaba to be one of their junior execs. And now we're here as president. Yes. Sounds great. Kaba is being known for a Filipino club. So for you, what's your favorite thing being a Filipino? Um, my favorite thing about being a Filipino is definitely the fiestas. Um, so much culture, so many food, so many people coming together. My, that's my favorite thing. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, I'm just like super curious. What's your favorite Filipino teleserie of all time? Um, okay, so don't cancel me for this. But I'm not actually a Kapuso. No, never mind. <laughs> I'm not actually a Kapavilia. I'm actually a Kapuso. That's what I was trying to say. But my favorite teleserie of all time is going to be Be Careful With My Heart because who doesn't like Sir Chief and Maya? Oh my yes. god, I totally agree. So brown killing. But you know another thing? There's also one thing that makes me kill like it's Filipino dessert. So what's your favorite Filipino dessert? That's a very hard question, but my favorite Filipino dessert would probably be leche flan. I like the egg and the, and the milk in it. It's a very good mixture. I love <laughs> leche flan. It's my favorite as well. <laughs> Another thing, I know you're a Virgo, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, so what's your favorite thing about... What's the most Virgo thing about you? The most Virgo thing about me would probably be my calendar. Um, you're gonna be so shocked when you see it and also being president you know that's also a Virgo thing proud Virgos hello so what's our next spot next spot let's go walk around I need I actually need to go to work so let's go walk around there where are we going the garbage because <laughs> I need to put some garbage there <laughs> okay so if the world was ending tomorrow what would you do oh wait that's such a hard question wait actually wait I have things to do first of all I would say thank you to those who ever made me laugh in my life. There's going to be so much of them, but thank you to those people. And also second thing, I would say I love you to people that deserve it. And then the last thing is I would probably go to Thailand like right now just to just so I can see the elephants because elephants are my favorite animals. Yo, so I love elephants mm. too. Another thing, give one Filipino stereotype that describes you. <laughs> um, Filipinos are always late. <laughs> That's me. Hi, sorry to my boss at work. Me too, that's me like all, all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, next question. What's your favorite thing to do in Vancouver? My favorite thing to do in Vancouver, aside from getting Korean fried chicken, would probably be going karaoke. Um, Fantasy City Karaoke in Robson. Best, best one. Sounds great, sounds great. I miss karaoke too. You mentioned Korean fried chicken. So what's your favorite Korean fried chicken spot? My favorite Korean fried chicken spot would probably be Kosu in Vancouver as well in Robson. Whoa. Uh, let me remove my mask because my eyes, my glasses are getting misty. Yo, that's crazy. <laughs> What's your skincare routine? Wait, oh my god, I'm so shy. Um, skincare routine. So twice a week, I put um, niacinamide and lactic acid on my face twice a week at, uh, during the nights. And then the rest of the week at night, I also put um, a scarbill solution that's 20% and then it also has vitamin F in it. And then of course, you have to put moisturizer up there. So that's very important. Whoa, I want to try that skincare routine. It looks perfect. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> moving on. This is a pretty random question and everyone probably knows this question. It's a title of a song by Casey Tandingan. Oh, mahal no. mo o mahal ka? Uh, <laughs> mahal... Um, mahal ko. Um, I would choose the mahal mo part because I would choose to be hurt na lang and then I will help them love me and it's okay to, for me to get hurt just so they don't get hurt you know because you love them so you're gonna choose for the, you to be hurt Oh. does that make sense? Oh, sad yeah. naman we need to change up the topic do you wanna <laughs> switch location again? let's, let's do it let's okay, do it let's okay, okay, I'm done okay, with the garbage okay. <laughs> hey president yeah. someone from Instagram asked why are you so hot? Oh my god, you guys make me blush. Oh, because how about because I'm the sun in my world, and I hope in your world you're the sun too. <laughs> so, talking about solar system, this yeah. is pretty random too. Someone also asked, When do you feel at home? Um, aside from when I'm back in the Philippines, probably when I'm in the Kaba club room. 
Oh, that's crazy. Everyone's just so amazing. We always feel like family. And with Cabo members, what's your favorite Cabo memory? My favorite Cabo memory would probably be the picnic that happened as our first official um, exec social. We had a picnic in uh, South of Memorial. I'm not sure even, but we had karaoke after and then I was like, this is so fun. This is family vibes. I love it. Oh my God. I will totally agree as a Kaba exec as well. What's the best thing about being a Kaba exec? Best thing about being a Kaba exec? Again, the family. It's the Kaba milia that gets you. Talking about family and all this stuff, if you would give Kaba a theme song, what song would you sing? Um, do you guys know the song from PBB? It's their theme song. Lahat tayo ay pagkakaisa. I don't even know the actual lyrics, but it's a very good song and I always use it when we start our Kaba meets. That's a very popular song and everyone loves it. I even play it like all the time now. So, how would you describe being a Kaba president? Okay, I'm gonna use um, a quote from Zendaya from her Vogue interview as well. Um, when she described Euphoria, she said, It's the most exciting, exhausting, but most fulfilling thing she's ever done. Oh, that's crazy. For people who's interested to join Kaba in the future, what advice would you give for Kaba execs? Advice that I would give for future Kaba execs? Yes. Um, don't be scared to voice out, voice out your concerns or your opinion. Um, have fun, have a lot of fun in it. And also, um, always remember the magic word, consent, very important everywhere, anywhere, not just in Kaba. That's, I think, one thing that I need to say too. I totally agree. Can you give us a fist bump, please? Fist bump! Hey, Mr. President, this is your last three months as Cabo President, I believe. So, do you have any advice for the next Cabo President? Any advice for the next Cabo President? Um, a very simple one, have more often um, Cabo meets. I feel like it helps your members and your execs, um, you know, connect to each other as well. But also trust the people, trust your execs, um, learn how to let go, and don't ever feel guilty for having fun. Always have fun. Aw, that sounds so wholesome. So, how do you envision Kaba 10 years from now? 10 years from now, um, I envision Kaba with 500 members in it. Actually, you know what? 10 years from now, let's do 700 members in it. And then it would be kind of like very wholesome like undergraduate society vibes but also like party party vibes because you know that's that's that, that's the culture um filipinos we love we love to party and hopefully kaba will turn into something like that too something big like that yo i can't wait for the next 10 years because I, I think it's that big. would happen like that's so possible nothing's impossible in the mm -hmm. world and lastly um what would you like to be remembered for your time being a president oh no you're gonna make me cry um Okay. Um, aside from maybe the loudest one, the loudest president, I, I would like to be remembered as the president who, I guess, sorry about the background noise, I don't know what's that, maybe a raccoon or coyote, but maybe the president that helped um, Kaba grow and thrive and helped it become the family that it is now. Oh, talking about family, um, do you have any message for Kaba members? For Kaba members, um, my, I guess my message for you guys is thank you so much. Um, thank you for always um, being involved, for being so active, and for being so enthusiastic whenever we have events. And also just know that whatever we do as, as a club, it's for you guys. You guys are our motivation and you're why we're doing this. Oh, that's so sweet. Unfortunately, we don't have much time. All right. Do you have anything else to say? Um, I think I'm good. I'm hungry. Uh, me too. Okay, do you want to go eat? Let's go. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>